Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is a new Will I Buy It? This is my series I post every single Wednesday where I chat with you over all of the new makeup releases and give my thoughts on them. I'll link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist. Let's just go ahead and get started. All right, hi, welcome to a new week. Hello. <laughs> so I am filming this on Monday and if you did not see my video that went up yesterday or see any of the news that I posted, I actually launched my own brand yesterday. I am very tired right now, but in a good way. I'm tired in a good way. Uh, and this, 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 is how, this is how we look. I just, I, I'm someone who I really try to keep things realistic on the internet because I know a lot of times there can be, it can be not so realistic and I really try to uh, keep that realism around here and I thought, you know what, why not film a will I buy it with a little bit of concealer and powder on my face, like a brow wax, mascara, and I just threw on a lip liner. I sat down without any lip product on and I was like, should I at least put on a lip liner? Now I'm kind of wishing I, I didn't even do that. But um, my hair is kind of a mess. Just be thankful you can't smell me. There's no chance that I smell good because I've already been to the post office twice in 99 degree heat, having to make like 15 trips back and forth with all of these boxes. But I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone for an... <laughs> An absolutely overwhelming day yesterday. I had no idea how my brand was going to be received and the products that I created was going to be received because I am a beauty channel and I launched something that is not beauty focused and I just didn't know how people would react to it or react to the products and I designed everything myself so of course when you put so much time and energy and effort and you try something new and you put yourself out there in that kind of way. Um, of course, not everyone's going to love everything and you know, you have to kind of brace yourselves for those comments of people just like shutting down your hard work. But yesterday was just magical. It was such a good day and I'm just, I'm really grateful for it. So thank you to everyone. I will link the video if you haven't seen it or if you're interested. A few of the products actually sold out, which is crazy so crazy to me um and i am still packing and shipping orders as quickly as quickly quickly as i can um, but my brand is by samantha march uh, all the products are available through my website which is chickliplus.com uh, so i will have that linked in the description box and i launched a 90 day planner also four different styles of notepads and then also a deck of healthy habits which actually i have right next to me the deck of healthy habits there's 52 cards in here and each card has a different like healthy habit prompt on there so everything is in the start inspired collection so that's kind of what everything is falling under the more inspirational motivational line of uh, of me <laughs> and, and what i do and i worked really hard on these products and it feels so cool to finally have them out there and i've been i've been working hard trying to get all of the orders out um usually i film for the will i buy it's on tuesday but i actually had an appointment to go to the dmv today so i actually woke up and like i just threw a little bit of makeup on because i was like i knew i had to get my picture taken and then the appointment ended up not working out because turns out there's there's really no reason i had to wait three months to, for this appointment because you just have to stand in line with walk-ins anyways so i just left um but i like kind of had makeup on and my hair was at least curled and i was like you know what i don't know what tomorrow is going to bring and i might not want to do anything so i figured i might as well just film the will i buy it today and show you what you actually look like the day after you launch a brand and stayed up until midnight packing boxes and then got up at six o'clock to start doing it again <laughs> this is what this is what you look like but i'm happy i'm tired and i'm happy and i'm grateful and I'm excited. I can't wait for people to start getting their packages. And yeah, just thank you so much to everyone who supported yesterday. Um, it feels really incredible to finally have everything out there. So thank you. If we, if we want a Vegas OOTD, this is what I've managed to put on today. Shorts and a sweater vest. <laughs> I don't know. It was the first thing in the closet. I was like, that's fine. Like I really almost went to the DMV in my pajama shorts and a t-shirt, but this is what I ended up on and then I just haven't changed and I'm sweaty and 
got a lot going on. If you really want me to, I will link my makeup in the description box, but I'm, I just, I really don't have much going on today, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It does not bother me to go onto the internet without makeup. Everything's cool. All right, let me go ahead. I will pull up Trend Mood and we will get started. What shall we talk about first? Um, I got quite a few funny tags on this new release from Charlotte Tilbury. So this says, look who's back. The Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Online at Charlotte Tilbury. Radiant Emollient Rich Lip Cheek. Sorry, Radiant Emollient Rich Lip and Cheek Glow Creams deliver a look of just kissed, fresh, semi-sheer color to the lips and cheeks. That's $40. Hmm. So there's now Color of Dreams is a warm, nuanced, rosebud pink. Color of Passion is a deep, blushing, berry pink. Okay, so I have never tried these. I'm assuming that maybe they, at least like Pillow Talk was a shade that was available in the past and now these other shades are coming out. Um, I feel like even if they were available in the past, I would have skipped over them because I never was really into cream products. So I don't like, I've never tried this. Would I try it now? Yeah. I got a lot of cream queen, uh, comments on this one. I would definitely try it out. Um, oh, I really like the, the comment that I see. Ooh, March Beauty Word. Did Charlotte mention these at girls night? I said, oh, she sure did. <laughs> uh, I would definitely try them out. I feel like. I've gotten a lot recently with bronzers and blushes, especially cream ones, but I feel like I should add Charlotte's to the mix just to like double check and see how I like it, you know? Just double check and see how I like it. It's kind of expensive, but Charlotte is kind of expensive, but is what it is uh let's see from dior okay i think i chatted about these before but we didn't have much to go off of yet but from dior we have the forever couture luminizer so these are going to be 48 dollars a highlight with an iridescent finish that boosts the complexion's radiance so i think when i talked about them last i was kind of like i don't know maybe i think i was waiting to see the price on them so 48 for a highlight you know it's definitely more expensive I, I do think I'm going to pass though. I know that a lot of you guys know that I do love Dior. I love, I have their powder on today. Um, the backstage face and body foundation, their forever glow foundation. I do like a lot of their products. I'm just, I'm not so like, not that I'm not into highlight these days because I, I definitely still am, but just, it's not what's calling to me the most right now. It's more expensive. It's a powder product. It says it has that iridescent fin. I don't, I don't know just looking at the swatches i don't know if it's totally going to be for me and you know i've really been doing the most for dior did you see my nordstrom vlog i've been doing the most for dior i'm just waiting patiently for my phone to ring so i'm gonna pass on those for the moment <laughs> Uh, let's see what else do we have. I'm so tired. I don't know if I'm gonna make any sense in this video, but you know, it's fine um, From Patrick Ta we have a new brow product. This is the major brow Lamination gel a clear gel with an unstoppable hold to mimic the look of laminated brows So this is gonna be $26. Uh, I think that it's available now. Okay, so I know I do have this coming to me in PR I I will give it a shot I don't use clear brow gel all that often, so I don't know if it's really going to be like a great product for me. I actually do have the ColourPop Brow Wax once again in my brows. I still don't know if I totally have the hang of it, but when I talked about it last time, you guys let me know that the brow wax needed to be wet. I missed that. I definitely missed that memo. That was my bad. Um, so I, 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 I did spray it, and I feel like I had an easier time with it. I am the beauty influencer of the year, obviously. Obviously. So I'm still giving that a shot. I mean, I probably like sweat off most of my makeup today, which is fine. It is what it is. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna be the greatest of products for me. I wouldn't have purchased it on my own just because again, I don't use it all that often, but getting it, I'm at least gonna try it. And maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. Benefit has a release 
I was gonna say a new release. Let's just call it a release. They're coming out with the Hoola Contourist Bronze and Contour Palette. A limited edition palette includes four shades of benefits, best-selling matte bronzer with a built-in mirror. So it's $32 for the Hoola, the Light Light, the Caramel Medium Deep, and the Hoola Toasted Deep Powder Bronzer. I just don't see that this is necessary. I don't know. I just don't really find this to be necessary. Again, maybe if you're someone who does makeup on a variety of people a lot, maybe it would help you but for one person i just i don't know i don't find it necessary i don't really get the release to be honest with you it makes me even more tired than i already am so i'm gonna pass on that uh oh from natasha we have a new liquid eyeliner the macro blade ultra creamy long wearing liquid eyeliner with immediate and rich jet black color payoff so this is going to be 26 dollars and available um avail available now okay so I got a lot of takes on this one too. I really don't do liquid eyeliner all that much. I know that Natasha is definitely mad at me. So is this hair. Um, I know that Natasha is definitely mad at me after the last um, beauty battle video that I did. I've texted her like three times and she hasn't responded to any of them. So we're apparently fighting. So, you know, uh, no good. So I feel like I should buy this just to help with our friendship. Um, but I just really don't do, I mean, I barely do eyeliner, so I'm definitely not going to be doing liquid liner and I have quite a few liquid liners. So I'm going to pass on that one. From Sephora, we have another favorite set of, another favorites set available. This is the Give Me Some Shine Lip, $34. So we have the Pat McGrath Lip Gloss in Fetish 6, the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Laguna, the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow, the Milk Makeup Electric Glossy Lip Plumper in pumped the huda beauty silk balm hydrating and nourishing lip balm in blush which is a full size this looks like a really nice set i would recommend quite a few of these products the nars afterglow lip balms actually are pretty bomb the fenty gloss balms i do like those i have fenty glow i have the nars afterglow also i have it in two shades the huda silk balm i really like that one i haven't tried the milk makeup or the pat mcgrath uh, so it wouldn't be a set for me since I have three of the five products, but that sounds like a really good set. Sephora's favorite sets have been really good the past couple of times here. So if you were interested in trying out those products, I think that seems like a pretty, seems like a pretty good deal, especially because that the Huda Beauty is a full size, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to talk about this week? Laura Mercier is coming out with a new translucent setting powder. This is the Light Catcher. So it says light creating setting power powder with 12 hour pore blurring skin smoothing and no photo flashback it's going to be 39 dollars. okay so it looks like there's a few different shades too for fair to light medium with olive and golden undertones and then medium to deep okay so i feel like we've definitely left out a category at least but um hmm. okay so Laura Mercier, I mean, her setting powder was definitely like all the talk of YouTube a few years ago. I really, I, I do like it. I used to love her secret brightening. I use that all the time because I was obsessed with bright under eyes. Uh, but I do like the original one too. I don't think it's something that I absolutely need right now. I definitely have plenty of loose setting powder uh, in my collection. So, all right, from the brand Make Beauty Official, a new lip product, the Serum Balm, a lip conditioning serum. Provides instant hydration while softening, smoothing, and plumping. All right. This is going to be available July 19th for $26. Looks like there's a handful of different shades in here, too. I haven't tried anything. I think Make Beauty Official is a newer-ish brand, so I haven't tried anything from them yet. I feel like I'm pretty good on my lip products. That's another category I haven't been buying a ton of recently. I kind of just keep going back to my staples. So I'm going to skip over that one. Uh, there is a new collaboration with Sigma Beauty and Beauty Bird. This is their round two, and this time it's a full collection and the palette is back. So the Dream Collection includes the Dream Brush Set, the Dream Eye Brush Set, the Dream Face Brush Set, and the Dream Eye and Cheek Palette. Will be available July 20th. Okay. So it should be available by the time this video goes up. But this is super exciting. Beauty Bird, her palette that she came out with was beautiful. It came with a double-ended brush. The shades were so gorgeous. Now we have even more brushes coming out. Like, this looks really, really cool. I don't see the prices on it yet. And 
Um, it's not available yet for me to look that up, but it should be by the time this video goes live. So I will have the prices in the description box, but this is really exciting. So a huge congrat congratulations to Beauty Bird. I love the marble packaging on everything. I am an affiliate with Sigma, so oftentimes I do get their PR, um, but those face brushes, I want to use them. <laughs> we have uh, adding a new princess to the collection. I Heart Revolution is doing a collab with Disney and Aladdin. Includes the eyeshadow palette in Jasmine, which is $20. The Jasmine highlighter is 10. The lip topper in Genie is seven. And looks like it's gonna be available now. Okay, so um, these, these really don't call to me. Makeup Revolution and their plethora of brands, just they, they don't really call to me all that much. I do really love Jasmine though. She's one of my favorite princesses. The the lip gloss honestly looks kind of cool, but I probably I probably don't need it. It's probably not necessary for me to have, but I'll say that the lip gloss kind of caught my attention a little bit, I think just cuz I really do like Jasmine. So I'm gonna pass on that though. And then speaking of Disney princesses, we have from Besame Cosmetics, the third princess from the princess collection. We have Ariel this time. Um, so this is the Ultimate Princess Celebration, includes a series of 12 pieces. Each set includes a refillable metal enameled compact and matching lipstick for $125. There's only 500 units of each. They're all limited edition. Let's see, for this one we have uh, a natural highlight powder and a red lipstick. Will be available July 27th. So Besame is kind of going down the line. We have the calendar of when all the different princesses are being featured. And if there's one that you really want to grab. You know, I've said like what I'll just keep saying for these is the concept is fun. The vintage feel is cool. 125 is going to be a little bit too expensive for me for the particular products, but you know, it's interesting to see what each one is going to look like. So that one is Ariel if you're interested. Um, let's see, moving on. I feel like it's maybe a bit of a shorter week. Uh, so Hello Kitty is, oh no, Spectrum is doing a collab with Hello Kitty. We have five sugary treats inspired by one of our favorite things, brunch. I do love brunch. Fall in love at first bite with brushes for all your beauty cravings and tools to satisfy even the sweetest tooth. So we have a sponge set for 19, a kabuki brush for 19, a bag for 43, a four piece brunch, brunch set for 29, a 10 piece fluffy pancake brush set for 65, or the full collection for 130 will be available July 22nd, yes. I got tagged quite a bit because of the sponges. I mean, you guys also know I love brushes, but I also, I really do love sponges. Very cute, very cute collection. I'm not a huge Hello Kitty gal. I'm not a Hello Kitty gal at all, to be honest with you. Um, but I like, I, I like it. I think a lot of people would enjoy it. I don't think it's something that I'm absolutely going to need though. So I would pass on that. And then Jaclyn Cosmetics is coming out with Celebrating Jaclyn Hill's birthday with new glosses. These are going to be limited edition. Love to Pout Lip Gloss for $18. Love to Pout Lip Gloss Trio for $37. And Jaclyn's Birthday Favorites Bundle for $44, which is a $54 value. This is going to be available now. Um, nothing that I think that I really need. I'm pretty stocked on my lip glosses. I just got a new one from Lawless, the Lip Plumper Gloss that I love so much. So I feel like I'm going to be pretty good on those. Okay, and then some skincare to chat about. I see from Tatcha, in addition to the Indigo line, the Indigo Overnight Repair by Tatcha 2-in-1 Serum and Cream. Visibly calm irritation, strengthens skin barrier, and balance the microbiome. Maximizes the skin's nightly renewal process for a soothing even, evening ritual that restores compromised skin while you rest. All right, this is going to be available August 1st. Um, I don't see... No, yes, I do. It's $88. Tatcha is very expensive. There are some Tatcha products that I really do enjoy and that I will repurchase and have repurchased, uh, even with the higher price tag. I don't know for sure ab about this one because I, I've actually been using the Selfless by Hiram, their retinol. I've been using that at night and I've actually really been enjoying it. Um... I've been pretty impressed with it. I just started using it. Maybe it's not quite been two weeks, but I feel like really quickly I started to see like my skin starting to look softer and smoother. Um, my acne that I was really struggling with is starting to calm down a little bit. I'm like, okay, so this is one that I'm, 
it it's like I, I always get interested in Tatcha skincare but it's like maybe I should see some reviews or do maybe like a deeper dive into the ingredients but I feel like I've been really enjoying that for my night routine and I want to keep using that so I can share a review from fourth ray beauty we have new additions to the radiate family the hello sunshine brightening priming moisturizer is 14 there's a jelly cleanser for 15 a vitamin c tonic for 15 and the set is 39 dollars uh fourth ray beauty isn't really like my go-to for skincare so i know that i can pass over those but those are some new releases i'm just i'm not like a huge a huge fan of their skincare and lastly just some beauty news forever mood by jackie Ina is now going to be available in sephora starting july 22nd online and in store so a huge congratulations to jackie that's very exciting um that's so cool i would love to know like do you have a favorite product from forever mood you know definitely let us know in the comments but it's really cool to see you know the influencer started brands and like finding homes in Sephora, Ulta, wherever it may be. So yeah, big congratulations to Jackie. So that's gonna be coming, uh, what, tomorrow as this video goes up? So you will have that option at Sephora. But other than that, that's it for today's video. You know, I wanna say like, oh, I apologize for my appearance and usually it looks like I put a little bit more effort in, but I, I don't really see why I would have to apologize for that. I'm working my butt off. I'm doing this all by myself. I have no one helping me. I have no one driving to the post office. I have no one packing boxes. My printer broke. It's been like a whole huh, craziness. And again, I try to keep it real on the internet. I don't try to like fake and fluff things and, <laughs> and whatnot. So, you know, it is what it is. And again, thank you to everyone who supported yesterday and is continuing to support the brand. I will be doing restocks. I've already got some stuff reordered. Um, and as soon as I get it in, I will I will get that back up and going. I'm just so completely blown away. Um, and once again, I, I'll try not to talk about it too much because I have like a 40 minute video explaining everything and I'm planning to do a Q&A, like a get ready with me Q&A and answering your questions about starting the brand and like the behind the scenes and coming up with all the products and everything like that. So stay tuned because I'll be asking for questions for that shortly. But thank you again. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.